Welcome to Total Bounty WordPress video tutorials. Total Bounty is a digital marketplace for buying and selling HTML templates, WordPress themes and plugins, and PSD files and graphics. Let's get started. Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about QR codes. You may have seen these before in magazines, posters, brochures, and even restaurant menus. If you're not familiar with QR codes, they're similar to barcodes used by retailers to track inventory. The key difference between the two are the amount of data they can hold and share. Barcodes are linear one-dimensional codes and can hold up to 20 numerical digits, whereas QR codes are two-dimensional matrix barcodes that can hold thousands of alphanumeric characters of information. QR code stands for Quick Response Code. With QR codes, you can link users to digital content on the web, like a website, phone number, email, video, geo-coordinates, and even instant messaging. If you've ever seen or used a mobile boarding pass instead of printing one out when you fly, you're actually using a QR code. The other key feature of QR codes is that instead of requiring a big handheld scanner to scan them, many modern day cell phones can decode them quickly using apps. Today I'm going to show you how to generate QR codes and how to incorporate them into your blog. The first method we're going to use is the Google URL shortener. This is a great method because you not only get to create QR codes, but you can shorten your links at the same time, and you can use Google's built-in tracking and usage features to get better insight into the activity of your QR codes. So first in your browser, navigate to goo.gl, which is the URL for Google's URL shortener website, and enter in the URL you want shortened and a QR code generated for. Mine is just going to be the main URL of my website. Click Shorten URL. Uh, as you can see here is the Shorten URL. Um, in my case it's actually not that much shorter, but for you it may be different. Go ahead and copy that and if you open up a new tab or window, paste the Shorten URL and append to it a period QR, press enter, and that is going to be the URL of the QR code. So pretty much any link you create using the Google URL shortener, append to it a period QR and that will give you the link to your QR code image. So how would we put this into our, our blog? It's actually really easy. Head on over to your blog. In your side panel, go to Appearance, Widgets. And we're going to try putting it into our widget sidebar. Drag over your text widget into your sidebar and if you just know a little bit of HTML code this is really easy to do you're just gonna do open bracket IMG SRC equals quotations again paste the Google shortened URL append to it the period QR QR quotations close bracket and that's really all it takes. Some of you may have widgets that allow you to put images into your sidebar without the use of code. In that case the method would be very similar. You would just enter in the shortened URL with a .qr at the end. And there you go, the QR code has been added to your sidebar. Now users reading my blog can use a QR reading app on their phones and with this image they will be directed to my website on their phones. You can also add a QR code image directly into a post or page using the built-in WordPress buttons without having to add any of your own HTML code. Just remember to append with a .qr at the end. Another great site for generating QR codes is QRStuff.com. With QR codes, you can not only direct users to specific websites, but you can also activate other features of smartphones. For example, with QRStuff.com, you can have the QR code activate a YouTube video, Google Maps, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and a bunch of other smartphone features. On this site, you can even customize the foreground color of your QR code to better match your website. The last thing I want to show you is a widget that makes generating QR codes a lot easier to do called Super Cool QR Code. With this widget, you can generate QR codes on the fly for all of your pages or whichever pages you choose this widget to appear on. Using the Contents field, you can specify where you want the QR image to lead to, or if you leave a blank, the widget will automatically create a QR image for the page that the widget is being displayed on. So if you have the widget displayed on all of your posts, each QR image will be unique and lead back to that specific post. 
With super cool QR code, you can even specify the size of the image and the margin around it. It's a great way to allow readers to take your post or article along with them for reading later or for sharing. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. Visit the totalbounty.com blog for more WordPress tips and tricks.